this morning, you know, uh, it, it's, it's always a, a privilege. It's always a privilege and a joy to, to see God's people. To see God's people. And, 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 and see God's people in, in full strength. Meaning that it don't necessarily have to be in numbers. But, 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 thank you, thank you, Pastor. Yeah, I just said for me. Now I'm talking about God's name, right? <laughs> and, and, and what, what, what I mean is that uh, a large army is great. A semi-large army is great. But the Bible breaks it down and says all it takes is for two people to agree. That's powerful. Because oftentimes we rely on strength of other people. That's what we refer to old nature. Uh, but when we come into Christ Jesus, he began to deal with our old nature by introducing us to a new nature. So the title of this message today uh, is Old Nature versus New Nature. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. It should be a familiar scripture. You may not know the scripture is right off the rip, but uh, as you begin to uh, walk with the Lord, it should be uh, a part because believe me, when the enemy shows up, we want to use this scripture in the heat of the moment. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Somebody say new creature. New creature. Old things are what? Passed away. Behold, all things are what? Become new. new. So that's why I opened up earlier when I said when I asked the question, when you got saved, did all your problems just roll away? No, no. Or, did, or, or, or were you, uh, let me ask you, have you ever had that, 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 that high when you first got saved? Oh yeah, you want to see everybody say right. you know uh, you, you found some 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 uh, clues and some uh, some scriptures in the Bible that that related to your situation and and it looked like when you prayed God just answered all your prayers but then you had to come off the mountaintop and you had to come and deal with life. Mm -hmm. But let me let me surmise you that this here. When you come off that mountaintop, you may have, it may have appeared to you that you were dealing with life. The Lord said, uh-uh, now you're dealing with your old nature. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. See, you come off the mountain. Oh, well, let me talk about why. When I first got saved, I wanted everybody to say, uh, at that time, you can cuss me out, you can say what you want, but at the same time, I would the Lord still love you, the Lord still love you, and the scripture says this, and the scripture says that. But until I got that energy bill, and I know that I didn't run that electricity up like they said I did, the old man showed up. Mm. Okay, let me move right along. I know anyone y'all said, I ain't that wasn't me, that was you, bro. Watch this. It. Ephesians 2 and 3. Among whom we all must live in the passions of our flesh, mm -hmm. carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. Mm -hmm. Everyone is born with a sinful nature. We not, we, we're not born as good people with a blank state. Psalm 51 and 5 says it like this here, Behold, I was shaken in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. So we all by nature children are wrapped in rebellion against God. Now you're going to tell somebody on the street, you may have a street fight. Because you can't convince a person who has not been regenerated right. that he is an enemy of God. Because the world's turn, but the world needs God. See, everybody going to love. And everybody uses love loosely. And well, I ain't going to say everybody, but the majority of the world uses love loosely. But those who are born of God, when I say born of God, I'm talking about the, 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 the raw spirit of God. The Lord touched you at a point in your life when you heard the word, you said, yes, Lord. And Amen. when you came down, you desired to be filled with the spirit of the living God. And when you are uh, hit with problems, that means you have been battle tested when you come out on the other side and you're still saved. 
I hope you get what I'm saying. Yeah. See, I know some people who, who, who say they say them until things happen. They want to go back to Egypt. And then they, you know, God, thank God, oh God closed the uh, separate with water, didn't he? Because yes, a lot of people. Sweet. Yeah, they're trying. That sounds pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> so just like the whole spiritual father, they like to move right on, we delivered from that. And see now, see how the old lady still driving up? But move right on. See, that's just how quick the old man tries to resurface. He's not, he's not far behind. I, I, I take you to a story where. Jesus took the big three. I call it the big three. It was uh, Jesus' inner circle. Uh, everybody needs an inner circle. Everybody needs that inner circle. You know, you got your friends, you got your this, and you got your that. But you need that one who, who can stand in the gap for you. And, and, and Jesus took Peter, James, and John on the Mount of Transfiguration. And when they went up there, they saw something amazing, right? And then as they was coming down, they, 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 they came off that high, and they came back down in the valley, and they saw where the Pharisees and the Sadducees were stalling the disciples because they couldn't cast out a demon, right? One translation says that when they came down, they said, you, 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 yo, we, we talked with your boys, and your boys couldn't cast out this demon. Jesus said, leave them alone, right? Next one, it says, Jesus said, you perverse generation. How long must I? Right? So when he said perverse, I can imagine that the faith level in, 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 in those Pharisees and those Sadducees, they were already, you know, uh, crazy because uh, they were sad. You see, we'll move right along. And so they went, <laughs> that's a old, old, old one right there. And, and so they went there and instead of looking at what Jesus said, they took offense because he called them perverse. But not knowing, he was including the disciples too. Because he said, how long must I be? And so uh, I think about it in my own life when Jesus, uh, when the whole when the Lord do something over here and I'm on cloud nine, and then all of a sudden when things don't go right, I say, well, where is the Lord? And he turned around and said, Ray, Oh, perverse, you know how long because I'm good when you over here, you, you walk with me over here, but as soon as things don't go your way over here, am I still God? Mm -hmm. right. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yes. See, see, it's always battling with one another. It's always, it's good to be in a house where you know that deliverance will and shall take place. Somebody said shall take place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, uh, you, you know, when I was growing up, my aunt showed me. She said, I can show you better than I can tell you. Get back there. And you know when you get back there, you know you really have to She said, I'm tired of talking. So one thing, one thing I love about the liberalist churches, uh, 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 once we read the examples in the scripture, we close the book and there's any sin among you. Paul said, I can come with you in word and, and right. ele eloquence of speech, but I come with you with the raw power of God. And see, see, it comes a time where you can get edified, but now we're going to see the glory and the manifestations of God. So if there's any sick of do y'all get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, in other words, it's challenging what the doctor had said. It's challenging what your mind is telling you because he that is able to do what? Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, and what you can ever ask or think according to what? The, the knowledge that or the scripture that's in you, the word that's in you, the word that's in you is always going to be an enemy against your old nature because your old nature is saying, no, he can't. He's doing it for Sister uh, 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 Poodle over there. But, but it never happened to you. And the Spirit of the Lord said, but, but, but by his stripes, I'm what? Yeah. <clears throat> always opposition. This is why we need Jesus to come and give us a what? New nature. If you are in Christ, you are saved from your, your sinful nature and given a new nature that desire love for God and his holiness. Uh, when you become a Christian, you are given a new mind and desires that are in line in, with God <clears throat> because they are from him. You may not feel it. You may not have the experience that the lady over there may have. But because you have given your heart to him, and you have what the old saints of God would say, a made up mind. At that particular time, you just inherited or been indo indoctrinated in 
the family of God, whether it doesn't matter how you feel, it doesn't matter how you see it, it doesn't matter how many demons talk to you at that particular time, if, 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 the, uh, if the call to come to Christ has been preached with raw power and it compelled you to come and you accepted Jesus, you may accept him today, three years from now, you ain't certain since the day that you did it, but God hadn't forgotten. He hadn't forgotten. He hadn't forgotten. <laughs> Oh, that'll bring by itself right there. God, yeah. see, see, when I got saved, I, 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 I knew I was on that high. But after what? I still was in the club. I still was doing this. I still was doing that. But, but, but every now and then, I would have that shaking. I would have that word. I would have that somebody. I, I, I was looking at how they think they all that. But God was just let, putting them in front of me to let them know, I hadn't forgotten about you, brother. You just feel in a certain way because you're not where you're supposed to be. All right. God will use circumstances, things, and people to bring us back. I heard a man today on the radio say, it's a dangerous thing when a parent prays, Lord, do whatever it takes to bring my son in law back. Ooh, that's a dangerous thing to, because you don't know. You don't, and, and, this, and this goes beyond the human mind because God has to place somebody that's in him to be able to even pray a prayer like that. That's right. A person's nature really has to be changed in order for that. See, God would need somebody that's going to intercede for the person who really needs an intercession. So he has to get that person right in order to get for the prayer to pray to get that person right. God is a God of order. He's a plan. He's a strategic plan. If it had not been so, then he then he wouldn't have said uh, he saw the end from the beginning and then went back and started from the beginning. <laughs> he just put the characters in place. He made everybody, Romans talking about, he said he made everybody boundaries where they are. So if I was supposed to be Chinese, if I was supposed to be a Bangladesh, you see what I'm saying? But he made me American, right? So I'm not attached to no creed or to no, let me say it like this here. Before I was regenerated, I was attached to all that stuff. But when I became in Christ, I became a what? New creature. So therefore, all the what? Old things is what? Yes. And, and behold, all things are what? Yes. So I can't identify myself with the foolishness of the old man, even though the old man still sees some craziness that's going on that will make me want to rage. But the new man said, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You better search the scripture, for when you search the scripture, you will search me and you find life. Yes. Oh boy. Romans 6, 6, 17, 19 say, but God be thanked that we were the servants of sin. Mm -hmm. But ye, but ye have obeyed from the heart that from the doctrine which was delivered to you. Listen at this. But we have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered. Somebody has to preach it to us. Amen. Somebody has to teach it to us. I don't understand the degrees on how people are able to get it. It took me a while to read the Bible and then gather some things along the way because I didn't understand it right off the rip. As opposed to the other person, they was I was saved longer than them. They just had a heart to receive and the Lord just dropped it in on them right then and there because I don't know the situations and the challenges that when they left the church on which they was going to face. But God said, well, your issue with the same scripture is going to come later. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? We all learn in degrees. We don't all, we, we all get the word, but we all go through different things. So the word can be preached up the pulpit, and a certain scripture can be released, and it can hit my man right here, right, answer his prayer right over here. Turn around and ask yours 10 years down the road. But for some reason, what the one that's 10 years down the road will have a greater effect than it would not because the time of the word that was given wasn't for you at the time. It was just for you to hear it. Mm. Oh, wow. God is faithful. Uh, verse 18 says, Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Free from sins, now you are servants of righteousness. Let me give you a physical uh, thing of what that looks like. Uh, 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 free from sin, and you became a servant to righteousness. 
Now, and this is military form. Every time at school, on Wednesday, they have ROTC. They have the Navy out there. And every student that I see, they laugh at me when I do this. They say, you're so crazy, Mr. Jackson. But now they take it serious as I explain it to them. I walk up to them. I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, hey, oh, 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 hey, hey. I, I, and they go, on, you're so crazy. And, 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 and they do like this here. And, and I say, yeah. And, and I, I explain to them later. I said, I don't know if you in ROTC just because. I don't know if you had parents. I don't know if you just interested. I don't know if you saw a brochure. But whatever took place on how you put that uniform on, I said, this is what I see in a 16-year-old, in a 17-year-old, in an 18-year-old that's wearing that uniform. Hops, medical, for life, insurance, education for you and your children. I said, you're wearing a uniform and everything is old right now. But if you mess around and enlist, when you run into these opportunities, all things are new and you ain't have to pay a dime because all you had to do was be a servant and be obedient. The same way with Christ. We was once in darkness on our way up to hell, an enemy against God. Everything had to work against us because we was outside of the covenant. But when we came into now, now we are not no longer slave to sin, even though sin may be pulling on me. I still stand here with tears in my eyes, frustrated, depressed, and I don't understand what's going on because I still got this thing that's hanging on to me, and I gave my heart to him, but the Lord said, drag, drag it with you. Drag it with you until I take it off you. See, we all got saved, and we was dragging some things around in our saved life because the old nature was always clean to remind us, you ain't who you say you are, and you ain't who God say you are. Now look at it. Now, I tell you, come on, what's taking you so long? Because you know why? Because when I think about what Paul said, Paul said that if, 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 if to, to be close to you, if I have to go through some of these things to know the raw power of who you are, the flesh may not like it, but my soul says yes. I glorify in my infirmities. I glorify when things are not going right just to know who you are. Woo! Ah, that's a good place to clap. Come on. That's a good place to clap. Because the old man won't say that. Don't tell that to somebody out there in the streets that don't know. I know some people that say you're going to tell that to they ain't going to receive. That's the devil. That's what Paul said. If this is going to make me. <laughs> If this is going to help me to know who you are. See, see, Paul had this experience. Remember he said he, he, he was walking around with this, with this thing. And he asked God three times to take this thing away. What did God say? I'm going to take it away from you. No. He said, I'm going to take it away from you next week. No. He said, I'm going to send a prophet by. No. He said, my grace right. is sufficient. So some things God will be in the color. I'm cutting that off. But it's some things to keep us connected with him. He said, drag it. Drag it. My grace. My grace. I know many people who are drug addicts and still dragging. And I'm saved. And I don't, I'm struggling. And the devil is telling me that I'm not saved. I said, who told you that you was not saved? Who told me because your condition is still attached to you does not mean that you are not made a new creation in Christ Jesus. Amen. Oh, yeah. So it's important to recognize a uh, twofold nature of the believer. You know, uh, uh, we have two kingdoms living within us. And I had a man to tell me early in my uh, walk with God, he said, is it possible for you to be saved for God to the Holy Spirit to live inside of you and, and, and the devil too? I say, oh no, you, you, you're lying. <laughs> you, you, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know me that well, brother. <laughs> it's two kingdoms. I said, I said, but I said, but uh, uh, um, 
one is warring against each other. And I'm in the middle. So whichever which way I swing, do you see what I'm saying? Whichever which way I yield my members to, that's what I'm a slave to. Do this make sense? Oh, God, when he wrote this thing, he, he knew exactly the time and the place on which everybody on the earth need to be in order to heal. Right? Many Christians have become discouraged because they do not understand this doctrine. There's a lot of, see, there's a doctrine out there that says you can do what you want to do. That's right. You can say what you want to say. You can come dressed the way you want to come dressed. You can do these things because God understands. I don't even want to come close to the uh, to, to try to think what God understands because I'm still trying to rob the fact on how much he loves me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, somebody out there, you too late. I don't get that, brother. You wrong for that. I, I do want to understand what Christ said. Uh, uh, think about it. You know what? You know what? Okay, so if that's the case, if you want to go that far, then explain this. He said, while you were yet in sin, your old nature, I still love you. Oh, I don't believe that either. Okay, let's go a little deeper. If you want to keep knowing who, what God is thinking right now, uh, I'm going to give you another. Okay. While your folks was wallowing in sin, and you weren't even here, and the devil was saying that when the offspring come, I have legal right. God said, okay, but I see a new nature down there too that you don't see. <laughs> That's why the Bible says, judge not a matter before the time. We can't look at a person like, look at you, look at you, you did. Well, okay, but God said, well, now, uh, why don't you pray for me? Because for some, was, so, uh, what Corinthians 9 said, for some, was, uh, you was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every believer, every believer, let me go back, Christian experience the truth of the reality of a dual nature. Dual nature. Uh, within every Christian. Understand the doctrine uh, or, or the explanation of this experience. Uh, every believer has only one nature. Uh-uh. No. When you in sin, you have only one nature. <laughs> when, you're, when you haven't been resurrected, you have a whole nature. We all know that person. Because sometimes people are smart enough to tell you, well, you know you're going to Yeah, I'm going to go in there. I know I can't let this be. I know I'm going. See, some will tell you, but, but, but what about that one who's been uh, uh, proclaiming to be saved with no fruits, no works, no nothing, but they go to church, they faith. These, this is the, the great deception that the enemy will have them thinking that they're on their way to heaven because there is nothing changing. They will convince you that the church hasn't changed. They'll convince you that this doctrine, which we call uh, salvation, is only salvation. Whosoever shall call. Hmm. Whosoever shall call. That word, whosoever shall call, is, is, is designated for the ones whom God has chosen himself. Yeah. Yeah. See, he died for the whole world. But when he called you, it's a whole different thing. So now, you, you know, look, you can tell the ones who, who God has called. Literally. The Bible says that you shall know them what? By their what? Regeneration. Fruit, you're going to be able to produce. Now, it's not said that even we that uh, possess the fruit of the Spirit don't mess up from time to time. But here's the old saying that I tell people you want to be accused of doing this, but not that. Mm. Do you see? 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 It, it, you want to be accused of, of, of you know, of this. You may not understood this, 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 this scripture, but, but you made a judgment on it, and you may not understand it quite as so you got rebuked on it, right? But you don't want to be caught frequently out there in the clubs yeah. wearing his name. So you may be caught doing this, but you sure don't want to be caught doing that. There you go. <laughs> God is faithful. God is faithful. The old nature. Every child, every child born by human generation has an old nature. Can't, you don't have to tell the child to cuss and dance. He's in his onesies, in his crib, dancing, mm -hmm. trying to cuss. And it's amazing how the devil can have him say those cuss words so clear. Goo goo ga ga and ya ya and blah blah. Like, whoa, roll up, say that. Mm -hmm. It was just in 
a baby's voice. Mm. And, and, and watch this here. And to let you know that God has still placed his spirit in that child, the moment that they say it, when you go walk towards them, they, uh, you see, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's, 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 but, 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 but somebody will say that the baby is innocent. No. Before God, the baby is pronounced guilty. Mm. I'm going to tell that in that church. The baby don't have to do no you know. According to the scripture. <laughs> baby come out cussing. The baby come out getting jiggy. The baby know how to spank your leg better than some of the dogs. Now, let me show you how you're doing it wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, the, the, uh, in, in the New Testament, sometimes it's called the old self. It is described as a, the sinful nature. You can find this in Romans 6, 6, 7, uh, 18, 8, Romans 8 and 8, Ephesians 4, 22, and Colossians 3 9. This is moving on uh, time to say. Uh, the old nature, some of the examples of the old nature. The old nature is Adam's nature. God created Adam with a, sin, a sinless nature. Then sin entered and Adam fell and became spiritually dead in the bondage of Satan. The result, you can look this up and find this in Romans 5, 12. Another one is uh, the old nature, therefore, is an inherited nature. Uh, we receive from our parents. Uh, we receive from their parents. So there is a family tree. Not one of us should be proud of our ancestry. Huh? It's some stuff. Everybody was doing good. Hmm. Well, you better go ask Rich Young Ruler. Thou has uh, done well, but thou lack is what? One thing. This boy went all the way back. This boy went all the way back and he said, You know, I kept our commandments from my youth. Mm. And what did Jesus say? Ah, you think you got me, huh? He said, Yeah, you did well, but thou lack is what? One thing. Said everything. What the Bible says, he turned around and walked away. Sad. And I can imagine he told his friend, he gonna ask me for this here thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that man, after all that work for me, he gonna ask me, you know, he's gonna ask me for my daddy's record. And your daddy's record could be the thing that's tying the whole family tree up. I throw that thing back down there. 
<laughs> Dog, <laughs> and I explained it to him. I don't care what you say. Here's yours. I repented of that thing, and I left that thing right where it was at. And they still got it. But you can't convince them. But that curse is broken off our home. All right. Old nature versus new. They can't get rid of the old nature. They they want that old, you know. And, and uh, another another one, old nature is a fallen nature. God says this. You can look this up in Genesis 1, 26, 27, 2, 16 and 17, and uh, Romans 3, 10 and 23. Uh, you know, the, the fallen nature. Then you have uh, an old nature of the, uh, is corrupt and evil. You know, then you have an old nature which is weak and frail. Then you have an old nature that is unchanging. It would never agree with God. Your flesh, your old nature would never tell you to get up and pray. It would never tell you to get up and, it'll tell you to go get some cup of sugar next door. But it will never tell you to go and ask for the people so God can get them revelation on how to get their own sugar. <laughs> See, sometimes you can do God's bidding without him telling you to do something. All in the name of Jesus because it's your old nature that wants to uh, uh, do something in the new when the, when the new hasn't even been introduced to you because most of the time we think we know it all when we first get saved. Amen. And sometimes all in between, I need the Lord tell you, are you really sure that the Lord told you that? Are you really sure that the Lord told you that that you used to frequent the strip clubs and to go down there and witness right now? Or that's your old nature? Do y'all see what I'm saying? Okay. The new nature. The new nature is entirely a new nature. It is not the old nature improved or patched up. It's a new nature. It's, it's literally a new nature. Okay? The new nature is a divine nature. It is the very nature of God Himself. You can find this in first, I mean, uh, John 1, 12, 13, and 2 Peter uh, 1, 3, 2, 4. The new nature is within the very life of the risen Lord, which is beyond the throne of God, and this life is imparted to us by the Holy Spirit. That's why, that's why Jesus told his disciples, he said, He said, Don't worry about that day and hour. He said, I'm going to send a comforter. I'm going to send one. And he's going to give you everything. He's going to tell you. He's going to lead. He's going to guide. Uh, 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 he, he, he's in the essence of the, of, of, the new, of the new nature. He is the new nature. He is the one who, who leads and guides us. He is the one at 4 in the morning when you've been up all night. He said, you know, stay up and seek me. Yeah. The flesh say, go to sleep, and you wake up, and, and, and you'll get with the Lord at your regular prayer time. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. uh, the new nature is a divine nature. Uh, the new nature is a spiritual nature. You can find this in John, John 3, 6, uh, and uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 45, and 50. I wish we could break this thing down, but you know, just for time's sake. The new nature cannot sin. Let me, let me say that again. The new nature cannot it's the old that's that's battling the new. Ooh. Do you see? Okay. When Jesus was portrayed, and 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 he told his disciples, stay with him, stay with him, he said, They're coming for me now. And Roman soldiers, soldiers came up to him. And and and, and they said, uh, uh, uh Judas, and Judas sit up there looking at this guy, I got you now. And then the Bible says that Judas told the henchman that, you know, the one that I kiss, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, the devil is saying, I got you now. But I, I you know, that kiss said, kiss said a lot. A kid, that kiss said so much within itself. I got you now. You want to front me out in front of everybody at the, at the, at the table? You going to say that my hand, you going to say that I'm the one? I got you now. It says a lot, right? And so, then the men had the audacity to say, are you Christ? But he told them the one that I kissed. That's the man. Y'all looking at me like I ain't read that. <laughs> now, watch this. <laughs> now watch this here. When Jesus said, I am he, that was the, that was the full essence a part of a power, not only in his
his words, but his deity and his new nature, the force behind what he said compelled him to fall on his backs. I am he. Boom. They fell back. They got up. They ain't that enough. Come on, man, it's not true. Are you the are you the one that be coming? I am he. Boom. Now the second time I would have been like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on around here? <laughs> we gotta look at this now. <laughs> but this lets you know that it was mandated that he go to the cross that no man interfere. Right? Then they, the Bible gave uh, a description of who he was. Peter in his grave pulled out his sword, wiped off Malchus' ear. Jesus said, whoa, 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 whoa. Before this, no, no, no. Plow on his ear. Malchus grabbed his ear. The blood stopped. New convert right in the middle of Jesus trying to show them that who he was is who he said he was. They still didn't get it. They fell backwards after the third. That falling backwards is a form of backsliding. It's a form of not knowing who the new nature, the new nature was confronting the old nature. See, they refused. They refused. They were doctors and scholars of the law, but they were doing all kinds of stuff. But then when they were confronted with the newness of life, and he said, I am he. They had to fall back because they were already in a backslidden state. So when we, when we go there and sin, before we sin, the Lord speaks to us on that map. But if, but, but, but if we keep going, we keep going. Some old people told me, say, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, keep going. The Lord is going to leave. No, yet. No, yet. Because, see, he gives tests to his people in the midst of what they're doing. Yeah, see, you see, a, a true person that's been converted would do this here. They would cross that line and sin, and they have the appearance that God has left. Because there's no evidence that he's around. But with true repentance, your heart is broken. You can't eat your food. You can't, you, you, you can't function because you know that you violated covenant. So therefore, before you go any further, brother, I'm sorry. Sister, I'm sorry. I take this wrong. Lord, forgive me. And the Lord is, and the Lord, why he, he was always there, he just allowed you to see yourself and to see how much he has of you and how much you have of him. This is how you know that you're really born of the Spirit. Because once you begin to see the love that he has, you will always discover he never went nowhere. Sometimes you have to see yourself. And this is in my case. When I do things, I sin like that, I see the whole lineage back there. I wasn't the only one that was acting like that. He said, no, 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 no. Uh, you messed up, but I want you to look way back there. Yeah. You, I said, well, yeah. My aunt did act like that. My brother did act like that. So the mercy comes in now because God says, it was one time I winked that sin, but now I have called all men to repent. So now he, he winked that when your forefathers did. But when you did it, he gave you the power to break it. Amen. New covenant. Amen. New covenant. For whom the sun set free is what? Free, free indeed. When you're walking with Christ in the new covenant, he just don't show you your sin. He show you that this thing is on Magnolia, but it started at the edge where good is at. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Yes. See, it's just not a, 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 a one-make deal that you just, he just forgive you of this sin and it's over. Because what if you keep committing that same thing? He got, the Bible said that God is faithful. He will complete that which he had started. Right. Uh, uh, in him, there is no failure. So if he's in you, he cannot fail. He will reveal who you are through the lineage. Though they may not be here. Mm -hmm. he, he's 
said that gun, that gun has a lot going on with it. Now, you can keep it if you want. But it's going to have ripples effect in your home because it's in a, a, an accursed thing. Do you see? I even had to replenish how I was flexing with it because I made that my protection. And then even while I was doing that, the Lord had showed me that my uncles was doing the same identical thing. I seen them do it. I've heard them do it. I said, yeah, I, I wish they would come around here. Mess with us again. Mess. You, they walking around with it. Take that gun, they up. Mm. While I was walking around the house doing that, I was seeing, when the Lord convicted me, I was laying out with I was seeing the same picture of them doing that. So when God forgives us uh, or brings us to a place of repentance in our new nature and that we're willing to go further in him, he goes down to the source. Mm. That's why the scripture says, for whom the son set free is what? Free. 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 Okay, closing with this here. Let's go to Matthew. I mean, uh, let's see, uh, where's that scripture at? Uh, Matthew, I think it's Matthew 5. Matthew 5. You have to know that the Lord has a vested. No, 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 that's it. Uh, I'm looking for the. No, Mark 5. I'm sorry, Mark 5. Thank you, Lord. Old nature versus new. Now, when, when the Lord do something for I, I remember I had this dude. Tatted up. I mean, you couldn't find it. It's like he, if he found some clear skin, he's like, oh, oh, you got to have some marks. He just loved his tax. And I looked at him, and he said, he said, yeah, brother, I'm this, I'm that, this, and that, this, this, and that. And, and he's I'm on fire for the Lord. And I said, hey, man, have you broken the soul of grief? But the person who did those tax, that they broke skin, and, and now that thing, you come home with that person. Boom. Rage came out of him. On fire for God. But when I asked him a simple, it just made him. I said, when you were sitting in there and it broke that skin, whether you realize it or not, you became one with the artist because you broke that skin. See, when I was growing up, I had a friend of mine, uh, he, 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 uh, we, we, we just hung out together. We just, Two, two bad, bad kids, bad kids. We just got in anything. Let's go in there. Let's go in that store. There ain't nobody there, so let's go anyway. We were them kind of kids. And police knew us, so they bring it back. Next time you do it, I'm gonna lock you up. And you better make sure, get it out, get it. And you get beat up, and next thing you know, you in the southern. <laughs> and I remember one day, through hard times, we decided to, you know, uh, and we did this. And, and I was like, and, and we meant that. I don't, I don't even know that man did like, I don't know. But I, I, I noticed that in my saved life, I could remember the Lord was showing me you're acting a certain way. I said, but I haven't seen you say it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I'm showing this to you because I want you to break an oath, a blood covenant. Do you see what I'm saying? See, in other words, you've got to get this in your mind that when we serve a risen Lord, a risen Savior, when we come from sin and the sin is still attached and you can't shake it away. Uh, see, the one that Paul walked with was just a reminder that, of God's grace for him. We need to find out why some things are still following us that we can't shake. Is it God's grace for us or is something that's attached to the bloodlines? Do this make sense? And, and I found that I was doing some things and my mind went back as kids. You know, I was saved. And I remember lady told me uh, I, had a, I had a black Honda uh, city and I needed a bed. I took it over. She said, it's taken. I said, I can't take this. She said, you have my permission to stay here. Huh. Lord said, 
That's your friend back there. That's your friend back there. You don't know what he's doing, but I do. Mm. I need for you to break the agreement that you have with him. So I have to do that. See, in other words, the sins that you and I forgot about the new nature, the, the, the Holy Spirit had forgot that. So he's bringing you into a place of repentance, but he has to trust you enough to, to where if he show you, if he show you your grandma's idols that's been handed down, like that child that mama don't let nobody eat on, you you can't. <laughs> if I don't want, that's you, that's you, Steve. Boy, I wish you would. We ain't using that. No, why we got five children can't nobody eat off? And then you get passed out to this person, that person, and it sits up in the living room as in, I know. <laughs> Lord, so you think, well, you're not that great. What is that for? You got all this silver, silver knives and silver spoons, and you got your granddad's mustard on the wall, and she, you don't know how many people he killed that thing. Or at least tried to kill it. Y'all see what I'm saying? When you come into Christ, he showed you the areas in, in which we need to work by the sin that's committed by us right here. By looking way back there and said, it's a possibility that somebody else done this. Mm. See, God is not a, a one-stop shop. He, 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 he showed you things. Let's read this in. Matthew 5. And they came over to the other side of the sea, into the country of the Galilee. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tomb, the man with an unclean spirit, who had been dwelling in the tomb. In the nightclub, in 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 the streets, in the in in mama's house. Do y'all do, do y'all see what I'm saying? And no man could bind him. No, not with change. Nobody can do nothing with, with your brother, your cousin, or with you at one time. We just can't limit this man to the story itself. When you walk in, in the new nature, the new nature, when you read these scriptures and passages, you find yourself, because the Bible says, search the scriptures. When you search the scriptures, you find life. And when you find life, you say, whoa, I can't believe I was involved with that fraternity. And you, and, 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 and the Lord is saying, and the Lord is saying, I'm showing you this, you was jumping around, but your ancient ancestors that you've been claiming from Africa was doing the same thing. <laughs> it pays to love God. Because when he showed you that you stole the microphone, I'm gonna just take this pass, I got about three more of these. I'm just gonna take this over to the conference. He ain't gonna miss nothing. And the Lord said, Well, your mama stole cigarettes and bonbons and <laughs> In other words, in other words, he just bringing you to a place of repentance, getting acknowledging what you. I stole the mics. I'm, I'm gonna bring them back. He ain't gonna know that I'm bring them back. And the Lord said, "Well, your daddy thought the same thing too. Your granddaddy stole peaches when it was hard time back in 1812, but you don't know about that either, do you? Do you see? He promised to pay the man back. Do y'all see what I'm saying? So in other words, he'll show you the present sin now. Repent. Three years go by." Boom! Whoa, where did that come from? And somebody say, oh, you don't know? Man, your daddy had them, 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 uh, them uh, uh, prostitute houses for years. And you trying to figure out why you had this battle with lust. You see, God is just not after your obedience and repentance right now, but he wants to destroy the stronghold that will show up in your life and show up in your children's life down the road. For whom the son set free is free indeed. So when we read these scriptures, you have to not necessarily put yourself in any place, but just ask the Lord to show you. It may not be you. It could be somebody acting like this in your family. Right? It said, watch this in verse 4. Because that he had been often bound with feathers and chain, and the chain had been plucked asunder by him, and the feathers broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Now, how many times people couldn't tame up before we got saved? How many times? I'm going to let him know. I ain't going to let him know. You see? Same thing. It was, 
this man was living in a tomb. He was running around naked. He was doing all kind of stuff. And watch this here. And the religious people and the worldly people needed a guy like this to point their fingers at to cover up what they was doing. Because they knew exactly where he was at. Oh, you, you don't want to know who that over there hollering in the middle of your park? Oh, that's that dude, uh, Tyrone over there. They know Tyrone over there is. I don't know if you know. <laughs> Tyrone made medical. Who are you talking about, brother? <laughs> and, 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 and he said, that's him? And, and, and you sit over there and look like, yeah, you're judging him. But he's, cry he's crying for help. And you have the power. But because you have some deficiencies, God will use somebody that's coming up the street, park their car, and say, hey, man, what's that going and you And then to, make, to bring you back to repentance. Mm. <laughs> and, God, and then if you get real arrogant, God will show you somebody in your family that's not too far from that. Right? Watch this here. And always night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying, cutting himself with stone. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he did what? He ran and he worshipped him. Now here's something strange in this here. In that worship, this man just did not come. That Those demons in that man recognized authority. This is where I believe that where sin abound, grace abound, much, much more. That means that no matter how hellish the situation is, Mercy and truth is coming. Oh, and he said, came for me. And, you know, and, and, so, and so this man was there. The Bible says, and when he saw me, that means that when you're walking in the newness of life, demons see you coming to fall. When you're walking in spirit and in truth, they see you coming. Oh, he, 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 he come. Y'all see? Okay. Watch this here. Then he, he, he said unto him, uh, uh, he cried out with a loud voice, What have I to do with thee? Uh, Jesus, thy son of the most high God, I adjure thee, torment me not. For, and he said unto him, Come out of that man, thou unclean spirit. He ain't called him a drunk. He ain't called him a crackhead. He ain't called him a prostitute. Jesus recognized him as an unclean spirit. Yeah. So when we walk in, in our uh, new nature, there are some unclean things that's there that will, that if, if we read the word long enough and if we stay in fellowship with each other, then uh, the, the, the Lord will do it sometime, sometime. <laughs> but when you neglect his word and when you lack fellowship with the same, remember last week I said sometimes fellowship means we need to lay our eyes on How you doing, brother? What's going on? You, you see what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we concern about when we don't see you from time to time. Yeah. You all see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and it's genuine love because we know it's war out there. Exactly. We know, we know the pool of the world is strong. All you got to do is miss one son and you say, oh, man, I didn't go over here and just miss the other. Before you know it, we see you in movies and you say, why are you coming to church? Oh, you're trying to duck it out. She's trying to take the role with her. Take the role with her. <laughs> I don't want to explain why I wasn't in church. <laughs> Asking the lady, can you back, go to the table and back it up before they clean the table off? You know? And so, have you ever been around a preacher and you know you've been cutting up back in the day? And, 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 and you go, hey, here he come, here he come. And you go, like, oh, hey, hey, Pastor. You know, and, 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 and they be like, how's it going? Well, nothing. He did. He's like, wow, oh, I didn't say that. And, 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 and some folks, folks you say like this here, did the Lord give you a word? Yeah, repent. Oh, yes, Lord. And then as soon as he leaves, I can't stand the pastor. <laughs> what have we to do with you? We didn't ask you to come here. We got something cooking around here. This man, watch this here. This man yielded himself to us. He had an open door. The Bible is praying that. Up. The Bible is praying the only thing Jesus said, come out. See, sometimes things with God in your new nature don't need no explanation. In other words, sometimes God will heal you or something, break something off your life, and he could be showing you that it ain't nothing on that tree. It's just I'm breaking something in you. So you won't start nothing now that they will go down the road. Mm. <laughs> in other words, you don't have to look for a demon 
come to every green tree, but in this day and lifetime, in my life, I, I just have to walk by a green tree sometimes to see it, thinking that as a whole, Lord, what are you trying to show me? Okay? No, he said, what? And then, and then he said, he, asked, he said, what is thy name? And he answered, he said, my name is Legion, for we are many. Hmm. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that the Bible don't give no backdrop on this man's story. But for this man to have that many in him, I guarantee you somewhere some ancestry stuff back there. I could be wrong. But I go, or this man opened up a door to where all of these demons had legal access. He was hanging out in tomb. He was hanging out in, 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 in places to where demons abode. Sometimes in our home, we have to watch what we bring into our home. We have to watch what we watch. We, watch, we have to guard what we hear in sometimes because it could be entry points where demons have access to come in and you wonder why you got a migraine every other week. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, now watch this here. Uh, now, he, he said, what is thy name? And he said, my name is Lee Fobia. And he said, and he besought him much that he should not send them away out of the country. Now you know that this situation went beyond the man. It went beyond. Woohoo! He's faithful. It went beyond the man. Jesus was out of the region, but he used the man to get to the region. But the region rejected him. They ran him out. But the man was made whole. Old nature, new nature. If you read the story, the Bible said that this man was clothed in his right mind, sitting at the feet of Jesus. He went from an old nature experience to a new nature experience, but the people that were surrounding him were still yet in bondage. What are you saying? It's a possibility that even in your own household or around the friends that you go around, that Jesus could have rescued you and you're trying to get them all saved and delivered and this and that. They manifest everywhere. But yet they simultaneously, simultaneously mocking your God. They mocking your God through your salvation experience. Because you ain't all that. Because I know who he once was. Y'all get what I'm saying? And, and they find every reason on why they won't come to church at least with you. Because that old nature, that devil that's using them, has found something in you, whether it's through childhood, whether it's through something happened, they refuse to let it go. Because we are many. Jesus said, you know what? Hold firm. And you cry day and night, and they still attach to you. But keep serving the Lord. Because, this, because in the book of Acts, the Bible says that this promise goes not only for you, but for your children, and for your children's children, and those who what? Are far. God just needs to have a prototype that represent him in the earth, represent him in the family, represent him in hot government, represent him in the school, represent him on the job, and though you walk around with some things in your personal life, if you maintain your faithfulness, God is faithful. He will use your situation to bring all of good yet to him. <laughs> he, what a he God, we, he, 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 he goes beyond the pale of, of, on which we ever ask or think. God can use one man to throw a match into a trash can and burn up the whole city. Why? Because this new man decided that even though his new nature and his old nature is worn, he, he's yielding more so towards the new nature. So therefore, God is saying, I'm able. I'm, I'm more than able. How could David kill all those men and God himself tell David, uh, David, I want to build you a house. I got this house. And, and God said, oh, no, 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 no. You got too much blood. You got too much blood. How could, how could David still qualify to be a man at the God's own home when he took a man's wife? Then he had the man killed. Then he took the census. Because you know why? David was more so after the new nature than the old. Even when God took the child, he said, I will return to you. 
privilege. He had that much faith. How could Abraham walk with God not seeing any signs of a, of a problem that we got? Like, I, I know it got to be a miracle somewhere because God promised. You were looking for the problem that God just said, follow me. And you got all your, your daddy stuff on the back of you. You got all your daddy. You got all that stuff. And that's not even talking about your compounded stuff that you clean. And God is saying they're in a good space. What I'm, what I'm here to say, you don't get anything. You're in a good space with God. You're not, you, you can't outrun God. Somebody, you don't want to outrun the Holy Spirit? How? How? You go over there, try to outrun the Lord, I'm going to do this in the Lord say, hey, how you doing? You know, he's right there. Didn't he say that if you make your bed in hell, I'm... So, so, so therefore, we, we can't we can't escape him. I love the song that it says, he that keepeth Israel never sleep nor slumber. <laughs> so, so whatever what I do, I do it with the intentions of knowing that I'm pleasing God. Amen. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit that even when I do, the Bible says I have an advocate with the Father. In other words, he's always steering me back to the new nature. I'm not the old, but I am the new. There are some things, yeah, I can't get rid of this again. I can't get rid of some of these memories that I have, but they don't have no sting. Amen. Because of the new man, the new nature. So therefore, do I still hurt on some things? Yes, I do. Do I still go through some things? Yes, I do. Do I still ponder some things? Yes, I have. But at the same time, he said, be a good cheer. The new nature, be a good cheer. He didn't say sometimes be a good cheer. He said be a good cheer. For what? I have overcome the world. I close with this here. I pray that in our, I call it our transition of whatever what God has you at. That his, his love will illuminate the areas of our lives in which we hurt, broken, kind of guessing, can God, can you really do this and really do that? Or you at a place to where you just want God so much unto where everything of your past is your past. Whatever state that you find yourself in, bend towards the new nature. Look for the, 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 the good things that God has said. Because all these other things he said, you're going to have persecution, tribulation, and all this. He said, but, but, but at the same time, Paul said, I beat myself. Yeah. I make this body yeah. do what it don't want to do. I press. I press because I got resistance pushing up, up against me. He promised me that if I ask, that I ask in faith, nothing that he won't withhold from those who more going forward, I'm pushing it back. I'm pushing it back. But see, it's not me that's pushing it back. It's the words that I'm speaking that God had said. This is what I want you to say concerning your situation. The more that you push it back and believe in faith, he said, if you don't doubt, you can have whatever what you ask for. I hope this makes sense. I hope you've been blessed. Walk in the newness of life. Don't be discouraged in your faith. Don't be discouraged because of your old and your new. You're going to have this flesh with you until you go see Jesus. But be a good cheer. For God has overcome the world. Amen. 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 Amen.